All right. We are back with the Dr. Dolly Show. Thank you all for tuning in. One eight seven seven doc Dolly. I'm not liking this at all. I am not liking having to wear a mask all day. I don't have coronavirus. I'm not at risk. But I guess they are um, contemplating having everybody wear coronavirus masks. Now, I know for some of you listening, the audio sounds muffled. No, I'm wearing a mask. All right. So I'm in a mask. Uh, It is not an N95 respirator mask because you can't find those. And surgical masks, the ones with the loops, aren't very protective. And so there's been a lot of misinformation and confusion when it comes to masks and what masks can we wear? Can we make our own masks? So let me just kind of break this down, okay? This mask, by the way, I'm wearing is so uncomfortable. We're animals. Animals don't like things on their face. I can't stand something being over my face. God forbid I ever get sleep apnea. I don't know how I'm going to be dealing with the CPAP mask. But this is something, for those of you listening that can't see me, it it looks like one of my bras, one of the cups of my bra that I wore like maybe in the second grade. It's like an A cup, okay? Um, unfortunately, my bras are way too big. I mean, they cover my whole face and neck, so I can't wear those. So it's a cloth, it's just cloth. It's a thicker cloth mask that absolutely has no success in blocking out viruses, blocking out bacteria that we know of. They haven't been tested, but it was the only thing I could find on the internet. I can't get, I'm a doctor, I can't get surgical masks, I can't get N95 respirators, you know, and again, I would rather the hospitals get them, but I was hoping to buy some to donate, can't can't let there there you just can't find them anywhere so what i was able to do is find some half-ass cloth things you know just in case you know the poop really hits a fan so cdc donald trump people are talking about well should we just have everybody wear a mask now um the the here's the pros and here's the cons of that okay if you understand microbiology and you understand pathogens and bacteria and things like that. I mean, they are small. They are smaller than small. And I always bring up ants because we've all seen what ants do. Ants will find a means to get to where they need to go. So if you, let's say, close a door or move over the lollipop rather than throwing it out and let it just sit there on the ground, that, um, that ant will know how to go around and get to it. That's the same thing with pathogens. So you see here, see I could stick my fingers into my mask? A pathogen knows that. The pathogen will be like, well, wait a second, let me go into her eyes, you know, or find another orifice that's just out there open. I think all my orifices are covered, but you never know. So if you wear a mask that's kind of halfway and, um, well, this is kind of tight, but here it's open, Pathogens are still going to come through, which is why the N95 respirator mask has been clinically proven, tested, has to have two or three sets of QA before it could go out there on the market. And so those things are supposed to be the best. But get this, even an N95 respirator, which I don't have, I don't have one of those to show anybody, those have to be changed out every eight hours, assuming you don't spit, sneeze, cough or or anything on it the second it gets sullied the second a mask gets dirty or wet or whatever or you spill your drink on it or you it's contaminated you can't use it now i mean we might be able to re-sterilize them in the hospital setting but i bring this up because for people that have maybe this stupid thing like i'm wearing or you try to makeshift one with your bra i'll bring one of my bras in tomorrow it's gonna scare you guys you're gonna be like Oh my God, you know, you could use that to go shopping and not have to pay plastic when you go to California. But um, um, the, my concern with these sort of masks or the idea of everybody wearing a mask is whatever I do today or tomorrow will diminish its effectiveness. And unless I could guarantee I have enough masks, which I don't, until we peak, and we're going to talk about which state peaks. I'm not going to wear this the whole time. I can't stand wearing it right now. But we're going to be talking about when each state is supposed to peak with their coronavirus cases. 
why waste your mask during a time when you might need it later? So let's say you guys got a hold of five N95 respirators. Let's say you did somebody a favor or black market, whatever, you were able to get the goods. I don't know when to tell you to use them because once you wear them, they start to lose their efficacy. So you could only, uh, they, they could be useless when they're wet, overworn, etc. The elastic band. So if we only have a finite amount of masks, I'm a little nervous about telling people to just wear them or start wearing them now. That being said, I do love the idea of a barrier. The pros to something like this is I am at least, you know, offering some sort of a barrier if I'm coughing on you or you're coughing on me or whatever. It also makes you remember that we're in the coronavirus age, the coronials or whatever. And so it reminds you to be careful because our habits are touching our face and things like that. But having something like this on you, you'll kind of remember, okay, I got to be a little bit more, you know, uh, aseptic and clean and, and, and diligent. Uh, negative with this is you might go, okay, you know what? I'm covered. I am so covered. So I'm going to just sit here and I could even kiss you with this. No. So, you know, would I support the CDC saying to wear masks? As long as I don't think it'll hurt. My caveat would be, if you aren't at your peak, save them. Because if you only have four or five, or if you only have one of these, and these makeshift do-it-yourselfers, I think people are sticking tampons in their nose and they're they're putting maxi pads. Honestly, I I've I've had some maxi pads that are like extra strength I had to use when I was on call. I would probably rather wear a maxi pad than my bra, to be honest. But then again, I don't like wearing bras either. All right, guys, don't go away. We'll be right back. One eight seven seven Doc Dolly.